welcome back to another brand new video i hope you're all doing okay so i am officially back on my channel i have missed you guys so so much i have missed interacting with you lot so much as well and i'm just so happy to be back like youtube is my hobby and i have missed it so much but i really did need the break to just cleanse and just take a step back from it so i've had about a month off youtube and i'm just so happy to be back and i've got such amazing content coming your guys ways like honestly i'm so excited july is probably going to be the best month for me because it'll be like a pack with me for holiday holiday shopping giving you hauls of what i'm taking on holiday and just holiday vlogs as well i cannot wait to do holiday vlogs i'm going monday to friday so i'm only going for four nights but honestly i am so excited to bring you along on our little holiday and show you guys what we get up to my niece ella rose is actually really excited to film some videos she keeps going on bearing in mind she's only three years old so yeah she really wants to be in my videos so i thought i would film our holiday together anyway so it is my 21st birthday in august so i will be filming that as well and yeah i'm just so excited i've got so many exciting videos planned for you guys to see and i'm just going to ease my way back into youtube as well because yeah it's it's quite like overwhelming sometimes when you like i work as well I've been working a lot of hours so i need time to work around my job filming and then working around editing it as well because honestly people just think filming a video and editing it and getting it out is so easy but honestly it's not it's really really hard work so yeah i am going to be back and i promise you i won't be going anywhere this time and hopefully i will be persistent with my uploads on wednesdays and sundays this is the first upload you'll be seeing which is sunday so i hope you're really enjoying it because whilst you're watching this i'll be at work so yeah i hope you enjoy watching this video i'm gonna do like a little get ready with me quick i haven't done my makeup in so long so I thought, whilst I'm doing my makeup, I will just talk to you guys in a bit more depth of why I took a break off YouTube. So yeah, I hope you really enjoy the next few minutes of this video. First of all, I'm just going to start off with my Cloud Complexion Primer by XX Revolution. So yeah, I am just so happy to be back on YouTube, like honestly. I have missed you guys so much, like talking to you guys, even watching people's YouTube videos. I generally just haven't even been on YouTube at all. I completely had a big break from it and needed it, to be honest. Um, I got to a stage where I just felt really overwhelmed with the constant uploads because I was getting back into a routine of working again and it just got a bit too much for me. And, you know, you've got to take some time out for yourself when you're feeling like that um and also sometimes i don't know if anyone else feels like this but there's a lot of competition on youtube i feel like and there's some people that aren't very supportive um i feel like i support as many small youtubers as i can and i just don't get nothing in return so that is one of the reasons as well i took a break because I just can't be dealing with that. Like, I love seeing anyone succeed or anything like that. I just love seeing people grow and really reaching their goals. And I just wasn't getting anything back. So that was one of the reasons as well. Because it did get to a point where it's a bit toxic. And I sort of did feel like, oh, maybe I should be doing better. But you just got to go at your own pace with being a small YouTuber and... Just don't look at other people's successes in a way and think that you're doing badly because you're not. Um, so yeah, I've learnt from that as well. So that is another reason why. Um, I'm just using NYX Born to Glow foundation in the shade Warm Vanilla. And then I'm just going to take a little bit of the Maybelline New York 30 hour foundation in the shade Ivory. I thought that's a true ivory then. And just put that on top because you can never have too much foundation and when i tell you i haven't worn foundation in literally like three months like i am telling you the truth i actually haven't worn any foundation for so long 
so it feels a bit weird it feels really heavy because i just wear like concealer now and powder like go for the more natural look but i just thought i'd make a bit of an effort today and i'm just gonna blend this in also as well my skin i've been off my acne tablets for two months i think like two and a half months two months now and my skin has never been better honestly i thought after i had stopped taking them i would get really bad skin again but i have the most smoothest skin i've ever had in my life like my foundation looks so nice now which i am buzzing about so that's a good thing is anyone else back at work yet i think most people are back at work now because like restaurants and stuff are opened um, let me know in the comments if you are still working from home and how long you've been working from home for because I feel for you, I really do because some people actually probably prefer being at home now um, but I got to a stage in this last lockdown that we had I was losing the will to live honestly um, my anxiety got quite bad as well I was quite poorly in the January which I thought I had Covid um, but yeah i didn't i didn't have covid but i've been having like breathing problems but i'm not sure if it's something to do with my anxiety or anything like that i'm not entirely sure i did ring the doctor about it and he did say it was to do with my anxiety but i get it quite often so i just try not to overthink anything so then my breathing is normal and if i don't talk about it then yeah but i just wanted to let you guys know like if you are struggling with anxiety which i think most people are since we've had covid in our lives um a lot of people are suffering with it i've sort of suffered with it for a couple of years but it hasn't been bad and then this year has re it has really hit me quite hard to the point where some evenings i would just cry to calm i don't know why i'm crying um or things just really bother me and worry me and I can't pinpoint what is worrying me um yeah I have got it quite bad to be fair but I try and control it as much as I can and Callum helps me so much like he's the one that gets me through it because he has suffered with anxiety his self before and he got to a place where I was where it got really bad um but he has learned to manage it so I'm only learning from Callum really to try and manage my breathing a bit better. Next step I'm going to take is my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Long Wear Foundation. Now this foundation was way too dark for me to wear as a base. So I actually use this as contour. Now I haven't contoured in a very long time so I'm going to try now. As you can see it's quite dark so just pull it there and then also my forehead area. And then my blonde bits are getting in the way and they're going to go orange. Let's just whip the hair back. And then I'm going to take my Real Technique Sculpting brush and just blendy blendy. So you've got like a nice little chiselled cheek going on. But I can't contour to save my life to be honest. I do get a lot of messages asking how I contour but this is literally it and I feel like sometimes it's not that good but it will be blended in real life but on the camera it probably don't even look blended does it this is what irritates me always suck your cheeks in as well god I feel like a new woman wearing foundation honestly wearing a full face of makeup I tell you what, I know I'm doing this for the video, but if we don't end up going now, then I've just put this all on for nothing. So I'm gonna tell Callum to shove it up his ass, really, if he doesn't wanna go. <laughs> I just like to dot a bit down my nose and on my chin and try and chisel me double chins. Oh, I've got another thing to say, guys. So I'm not doing Slim World anymore. <laughs> You're probably going to be like, oh, Paige. But do you know what it was? I just couldn't. I'm just not in the mindset. I, I, honestly, I'm not in the mindset to get up and go to group just to be weighed and then come back home. Like, I just can't do it. So I quit 
this Tuesday that's just gone so we're in the same week and I just quit because I just wasn't enjoying it anymore and there were certain aspects where I was like hmm wasn't really getting the help I needed I probably should be saying that but I just wasn't getting the help that I needed and I just couldn't be asked with it to be honest I was wasting my money just by going to group stepping on some scales they're them being like oh you stayed the same this week or oh you've put on a couple of pounds yeah and i have because i've had food this week that's why um <laughs> so yeah i just thought it's not for me anymore it used to be for me like i did really well i lost two and a half stone at one point on slim and world um if you do do slim and world and it works for you then great but it did work for me at one point and now it doesn't so that's why i quit and i'm gonna do it on my own i'm gonna try calorie deficit or however you say it um and see how that goes for me i'm not saying that i'm not going to be dieting because i still want to lose weight yeah so i am not doing slim world anymore guys sorry to say it so there won't be any slim world eat what i eat in a day but i can still do a what i eat in a day if you want to see that i don't know if you probably would have seen over on my instagram i don't think i've mentioned it in youtube videos yet either but i am currently working with look fantastic i have a link so you can check anything out on their website and i get a bit of um commission from it as well when you go through my link so i can leave it down below um so yeah i do earn a bit from it but not like major but if you do want anything from the website there is stuff for men as well so you can grab your dad something yeah boyfriends your brother something whatever and yeah i earn a bit of money from it but not like i said i don't earn loans from it so i'm just gonna take my revolution blush palette in the shades hot spice and take my one of my sister's um makeup brushes that she was selling and dip into the shimmery one hair and just like a matte one hair i dip in the two and then just put it on the balls of my cheeks and up and then it just gives you a nice little natural glow I don't know if it does really but I still do it anyway I never used to wear blush and I can't go without it now like it's such nice stuff I don't know why I didn't use it before I also go on my nose and just on my chin area as well I don't know if anyone else puts blush on there chin but i do i feel like i look really weird with like a full face of makeup now just because i'm not used to it i'll go in with my revolution rose gold glow palette and i'm going to dip into the gold one here and i'm going to be using my spectrum bo8 brush for that and just glow my skin up a little bit and then with the same highlighter palette i'm just gonna take my finger and rub it over my eyelid just to give my eyelid a bit of a glow. So that is the eyebrows done. Um, and then I'm just going to take my Sky High mascara, which I've nearly run out of, so I need to get some more. And put this on my eyelashes, and then that will be the finished makeup look, really. I don't really wear false lashes anymore because they irritate my eyes, even though I tried um, latex-free glue. They still really irritate my eyes. But if you are interested in strip lashes, I'm not being told to say this, but then head over to Albi Cosmetics and grab yourself some lashes. I'm not sure how much she's got left of her stock, but if you just ask which ones, she, my sister can always send you over some pictures and you can choose and go from there. But her lashes are honestly amazing. I'm so sad I can't really wear them at the moment because... They just make my eyes swell. Not her lashes, but any strip lashes make my eyes swell and get really irritated. So I'm just avoiding any type of lash at the moment. I mean, I wish I could have individuals done because I do actually prefer individuals. But again, that irritate my eyes. My eyes are so sensitive. I just have to put up with my natural lashes, which they're not too bad. They've grown loads actually since not wearing falsies. I hope this video hasn't been too boring for you guys, honestly. But I just wanted to update you of and give you an explanation. Explanation. 
couldn't even say that word. Um, I just wanted to give you an explanation about where I've been and just to be honest with you guys how I was feeling because I did feel like there was a lot of toxic and a lot of competition going on where people wasn't supporting me but I was supporting other people and yeah obviously that's not just the reason um the reason is work as well I've got to obviously put that first because it is my job I take my lip liner in the shade caramel nugget by MUA which is makeup academy uh, makeup academy and just line my lips I'm just going to take my Pout Balm by Revolution. This is just the clear one, but it's gone a bit of a funny colour now. And just line that. Look at that gloss. Wow. Love this lip gloss. And that is my hair and makeup all done. Like I said, I did curl my hair this morning, but it has gone a bit more straighter now but still got the nice little waves going through that is everything for this video like i said it was a little like nice catch up video with you guys and just to ease myself back in to the youtube video routines again but yeah i hope you really really enjoyed watching this and i'm so glad to be back and so excited to get started again i hope you're happy that i'm back too i have missed you guys so much like i said earlier and yeah, I'm just buzzing to be back. I know I keep saying it, but yeah. I hope you really enjoyed. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and also subscribe down below. Let's try and get me to 800 by July. And yeah, cannot wait for the future with my YouTube. See you next time in my next video. Bye guys.